Ladies and gentlemen, Minecraft Pocket Edition and Windows 10 Edition version 1.0.5 has just been released. My name is Slice Lime, let me guide you through the changes and fixes in this version. This is a minor release, so it contains mostly bug fixes, but it also contains a very nice new feature, that is command blocks. Let's start with those fancy commands then, this is a very command focused update. Command blocks are in this version, just like in the Java edition of Minecraft, you can only get them by using a slash give command or with a middle click a pick block from an already placed command block. They are only available in the creative game mode, just like in the Java edition. In addition to command blocks being added into the game, more commands have also been added than were available previously. Those include slash title, slash stop sound, slash play sound, slash clear, slash difficulty, slash effect, slash me, slash replace item, slash spread players, slash test for, and in something that will interest more people than just map makers, slash game rule. So game rules are also introduced with this version and you can change them by using the slash game rule command. Of course, with this also comes the minecart with a command block. Some fixes have been done to commands as well, in between the versions, commands now execute correctly even if your cursor is not at the end of the line, and previous versions had some ghost block issues with different use cases for the slash fill command, those have been fixed now. Many commands also show better result message when you execute them, and the slash help command now displays the command description properly. There's some caveats here. There is still no slash scoreboard or any scoreboard functionality in Minecraft Pocket Edition, and notably, if you're wanting to use these command blocks to make maps, there are no spawn chunks in Minecraft Pocket Edition. We're working on some things to mitigate this, but for now keep in mind that your command blocks can be unloaded if there's no player nearby. If you're running some complex commands, there's also some pretty severe performance issues, which I'm working on fixing for a coming update. But commands are not everything, there are other new things in this version as well. There's a new skin pack that you can get from the store, the Power Rangers skin pack. Bunch of fixes have been done to mobs, the long-standing problem where villagers and peaceful mobs could despawn randomly has been fixed, and mobs moving between chunk borders no longer despawn if you have a crash. Hostile mobs spawning rules have been fixed, they used to ignore the Y coordinates and they no longer do, and speaking about spawning, the spawn time of mob spawners has been fixed to be randomized just like in Java Edition instead of constant like it was before. Mob spawners also no longer always spawn the maximum number of mobs, which they used to. Some other fixes for random mobs, fireball shots from gas are now down with the correct accuracy, and endermen and undead mobs now have their proper idle and walking sounds again. In the previous version, in 1.0.4, we got villagers that traded and shared food and items between each other. There are some fixes that have been done to this too, villagers will no longer throw the bread like they were baseball pitchers, and the villagers will no longer steal your own items if you die in a village. Some other bugs have been fixed as well, enchanted books can generate again according to loot tables in dungeons and temples, and there have been a couple of fixes for different cases where the player could get stuck inside of blocks and suffocate. Interacting with items in the world has also been fixed in a couple of cases, like you can no longer duplicate items by using item frames, and item interactions with the flower pots work much more like they should now. Some other fixes for interfacing with the game, the touchscreen input will no longer get stuck and continue to drop items from the first hotbar slot, and there was another fixed bug that made chat messages appear twice in the game chat. In addition to this, but of course not unimportant, a lot of crash fixes have been done to the game to improve stability. And that was all from me for this time and this quick overview of Minecraft Pocket Edition Update 1.0.5. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found this video useful and if you did, please help me out in return and leave a like. My name is Slicelime, thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video.